because when we start, let me get all my. Oh, you're recording. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, Hi, how long have you been recording? Hi, Miss Adams. I love I wonder you. If she's actually gonna watch the whole thing. Let me see that. See what. If I clap, it comes. Ellen, go away. It's not really. So why is there a spider <laughs> sleep? <laughs> Wow, my stuffed animals. Let's go through all of our stuff. stuffed animals. <gasps> I feel like I got rid of a lot of mine, but wait, I have a blanket. Oh, that's not a stuffed animal, but mm. got it in Vegas. Wait. Oh my god. You can't make even... one of those posters. Let me hold it. Oh. We have an M M blanket too. We put it on my dog's kennel. Isn't it cute? Look what I have. I have an issue with the yellow M and M. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I like. I don't even know. They really branched out from just regular M and M's and peanut M and M's. Not even gonna like give it my energy. And then there's pretzel, caramel. What else? The caramel ones are really good. Another yeah, one. I like oh yeah, peanut, peanut butter, butter, the red bag. Hmm. Have you guys tried the crisp ones? I don't think I've ever tried them. Remember yeah. when M&M's had that one chocolate bar? Oh, what? Yeah, I remember the that. bar with M&M's in them. Oh, oh yeah. Really nice screenshot. <laughs> Not it. Celine, I'm so oh glad God, we got kidding? those for real milkshakes or whatever. <laughs> like that one day, you know? Oh, when you dropped like, me off. <laughs> like, I'm glad that we did stuff like that when we still could. Did what? Because if we would have went back to stats that day, I'd be like uh, writing it every day. Wait, this is recording. You should yeah. stop it and make a new one. It's okay. There's a lot of good moments in this. That's like, true. Oh my god. I still have that. Did that just drop over. in your yeah. <laughs> That's freaky. <laughs> Wait, let's set one up in your decoration. dorm room. I will. I'll bring it. Hopefully. Dude, that's gonna scare somebody in the night. Oh my god, that's... touch my appearance. What? As you can see, this is not a good day for me. Woke up with a few new friends. Oh, Jeffrey, oh, we don't want to get... I have not shaved my face in like a month. I'm so white. Really? I have to shave like every five days. <laughs> I know. I'd just be like trimming it. And I'm like, there ain't no reason. And well, my eyelash hair is so You see that? And like, oh my god, my hair, you guys. Clean. So Show long. me once you get to know. I know, but I still have them. It's been a month and a half since I got them. Look at my unibrow. <laughs> oh, my hair's getting really long too. Oh, me too. Wait. Oh, the camera's on this side. Come here, Lydia. <laughs> it's long, the back of my head, too. I was really going to, like, post a Google Forms quiz on my spam and be like, should I? It was, like, quarantine quiz number one. And the question was, should I shave, I mean, give myself a haircut? And then question two was, any concerns? And then question three was name. And I'm like, well, May 4th, do I want to wait until then? Will businesses be open by then? And okay. I really just want to have the opportunity to shave my head a little bit. Ooh. Just Businesses thought, are sorry. about to be flooded, though. When what? Oh. They're about to be flooded, though, with people trying to make hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. My mom had, like, fake nails, and you can see they're, like, up to, like, oh, excuse my, sorry. <laughs> they're, like, halfway through. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's going to be extended, because... They're going to grow right off her nail. I know. <laughs> I can't wait to see that happen. <laughs> what else? What else? Oh, yeah, I was thinking I should dye my hair platinum. I was thinking about dyeing my hair. Really yourself? Like wait, Miss Carlson dyed her hair. Did you guys watch her video? I'm recording this. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> now. Okay. okay. Oh, hey, we just connected, and now I think we should talk about this. I haven't seen you guys book. in so long. Oh, my God. Okay. I still have Carlson's copy of it. Whoa, like, do we all have a different here. cover? You. They got like the same image. This crying lady. Yeah, which one fits more to the story better? 
My first question is, what does this represent? What, what does this represent? What does this not represent? Oh, well, obviously, what? because there's a lot of rich people and rich people on boats, and so that oh, means it's like a similar wrong, privilege. It's the, it's the, the company's boats. Oh. Someone wrote their that number. One. Three, four, six, five, five, seven, eight, eight, seven. Eight. Someone call. This is Mr. Gatsby. Oh, no. Are, is this phone line open? Okay, someone ask a constructive question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Can't we write them down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my computer needs to be charged. Bryce, did you ever do your beautiful question? <laughs> um, about that. Wait, Let's did talk she give you guys points? Social classes. What social classes? Are you ranking them? So it's um Tom. Daisy, we have everybody else, and at the very bottom is the the Myrtle. That's all. Yeah, it's those two, and then Gatsby, Nick, and then Myrtle, and her husband. Who really hit Myrtle with the car? Daisy. Oh, that was two. That was level one, one question. Ouch. Okay, level two question. Why was Daisy driving instead of Gatsby? And what does that symbolize about females? <laughs> oh my god, times are changing. Time's up. Me Symbolizing too. you was too lazy to drive. I'm just I like the <laughs> really but I'd rather not say it. Hmm? Maybe Daisy wanted to drive to like get. Uh, she just argued with um. Um, so she was like, Is it possible she hit Myrtle on purpose? No. Myrtle had it coming. Weren't they drinking at that one hotel suite before? Yeah. I think, yeah. So I think she was intoxicated. So so why why then? Because we know that Gatsby doesn't drink. So why would he have her who's intoxicated drive? I just wanna set her up. He knew all along. Was no, but was he trying to do something with that? And she was like, well, let's drive it. And he was like, okay. <laughs> Shilo. <laughs> oh my god, that's like the difference. <laughs> Maybe there is no actual meaning to just have her drive. Get in, loser. We're doing vehicular homicide. Yeah, but I don't, I don't get how, um, what was Myrtle's husband's name, whatever, the mechanic. George. How, how he tried to connect, he was like, oh, the guy in the yellow car was the one who was having an affair with my wife. Like, oh, yeah, never mind, that's what Tom, Tom told him something. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I just thought, it was crazy how he was like, oh, I'm going to kill him. And he did. Yeah. <laughs> and then Gatsby said bye. He was no longer there. It was very sad. My was Gatsby sad. sad all along? This really just this really shows how much you may work for something. You will never get love. Okay, ouch. Why am I emotional? <laughs> Why did you have to fucking freaking say that? The most beautiful question I've ever heard before. He was, he was I just think it like. Just to get money for Daisy, and then Daisy marries Tom, and when he finally finds her, he dies. It's really like contrasting with the title. Great Gatsby. Horrible Gatsby. Do you think Nick would have named the book? Great. Yeah. What if Nick's writing the book? Never mind. It's first person. Nick is writing the book. Yeah. Isn't he the narrating? Or what's the point of Nick narrating the book? Mm -hmm. Well, Gatsby can't narrate it if he's dead. 
Oh my god, yeah. Wow, Jeffrey. Well, why couldn't it be some like Move. random guy from the outside being? He is a random. Well, if it's like a random guy, we're gonna be part of the story. <laughs> oh, you mean he's like caught up in it still? Yeah, but Nick, after his death, he, just, he runs away too. He's like, I'm gonna go back to the Midwest. He's like, I'm going back to the Midwest. I hate rich people. I hate what they do. Contrast oh West End. Only after the end of summer, I'm going to go back to the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Selena and Jeffrey after spring, after Christmas, no, winter break. I'm going to go back to the Midwest. August 22nd. <laughs> Moving days, August 22nd. I'm going to go back to the Midwest, y'all. Selena will have to meet up. I know. If I come back with like a Midwestern accent, I mean, you all just slap me. Oh, no, I'm so no, sick I'm not catching that. Um, <laughs> this is all these city folks, so much traffic in the city. <laughs> right, that's Where not even Midwestern. <laughs> you should have thought Nick, Nick actually talks like. <laughs> Probably. Was it from Chicago or North Dakota? Yeah, Chicago. I don't know. Chicago. Chicago. I want to have a deep dish pizza from Chicago. I'm calling the city. Poor Miss Adam. I know if she has, if she's watching, I feel bad. <laughs> ah, I don't know. What... Quarantine got us feeling some type of way. Hope she's not watching. I'm not gonna say anything else before. So, does anyone ha- want to share their uh, their thing? Our beautiful question, or what? No, the, the little like extra thing. Oh, oh, the extra resource! This is mine. It's a painting you can buy on Amazon. How much is it? Can you do share screen? Let me see. Hold on. And then my other phone. It's forty-one dollars. Great. Cute. Okay. Can you buy it for me? It's my boy. One's your birthday. I Welcome. watched like half of the movie and um. You watched the movie without us. I watched half wow, of the movie. Hey. And I got bored. I got bored uh, of it. We should watch it together. Yeah, so I, I watched it after I read the book. Now it's so fresh. Like, Some people obviously don't have like mature enough taste to like sit through a movie like that. I just read the book, so whatever's in here is canon. I'm gonna do share screen. Cute. Oh. Can you see my screen? Jeez, I can see a, a loading sh- thing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look at all those tabs. <laughs> You're not even in school. Sorry. Oh crap. It's called online school. What are, what are you I'm thinking alone. inside the eyes? Mm. Like, oh, I can't see it on there clearly, but there's like people in his eyes. Who are the people? Like, who is the person? First? Wait, they're people? I no, like, the big Daddy face. And I think the people in the eye are Nick and Daisy. Why is Nick in there? Because he has a gay affair. I feel like... It might... <sighs> but I think the big face is Daisy. <laughs> and the people inside her are someone. Other. Oh, like, the actual face is Daisy? Yeah. Yeah, so it has I think it's Nick and Tom, or no, not Tom, Tom and Gatsby. I don't know. If... I don't even know what they are. Oh, maybe it's the same person. Well, I don't know how to go back. Uh. What's that Google Forms? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm like so three weeks behind in every class. 
Is that what you should be showing right now? I think that's no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can check my grade book. Feeling cute. I don't know how to go back. I don't want to look at Celine's screen. I don't know how to go back. Yeah, no, no. Okay, like stop sharing or something. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Where's that now? What does it look like now? Still I Google form. Can't you just go back to your the Zoom app or something and then That's what I'm trying to oh, do. I <laughs> oh, I know Celine, just X out all your tabs. <laughs> <laughs> is I that not, not the zoom tab like the second to the furthest left yeah that's the zoom tab <laughs> I can hear oh. little sound oh stop stop what oh stop. sorry stop. wait what can what do you see now your screen thing Khan Academy edX AP oh classroom God. I just pressed Rice stop University. <laughs> oh, no, no. I got it. Okay, he's back. No, it still says Yay, Google Form. Yay, I can see your face. That's so weird. It's still so, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, why am I such... Where's my Oscar? Someone get this man an Oscar. What was your beautiful question, Jeffrey? Um, to what extent does one's wealth have an impact on their disregard for common human morals? I don't know if that makes sense, but... I get it, I get it. Well, I mean, that sense. sound? What? Is it Celine's spider? It's obviously coming from Celine. You already know that. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, and for my picture, I put this picture of London Tipton. Mm. Because she's mean and doesn't really have a lot of morals and she has a lot of money. What is. It might be a bird outside. It's really? Probably, it's probably me. Yeah, that's probably true. That sound? Wait. I can check my window. Whoa, Jeffrey, why not? Is it quieter? Wait, is it away now? Okay, awkward. I'm trying to solve the murder. Yeah, it's gone. So, What's your I think question? wealth can make people blindsided. <laughs> and I think, I think the same thing applies with love. Like, when people are in love, they, like, don't really see reality of what's going on around them. And then mm -hmm. when people are really, really rich, they also don't see what's going on around them. It's the same. It's a similar feeling. Yeah, that, that was clever. Blinded. Yeah, because Gatsby, because he's really rich and he's blindsided by love, he's like twice less as likely to see reality. Double blindsided. It's a double blind statistical test. Mm, that is blinded. You know what I hate? When like Gatsby took the fall and then like Daisy went away and she never like was like, no, no, that's me. She was just like, oh, you're gonna take the fall from me? Okay. I know. She's <laughs> And she like ran off. She was like, okay. That's because well, she's been used to that her whole life. Because she's been treated as not human. What happened to her daughter? She has a uterus. Her daughter? Yeah, at the beginning she was like, I hope she, when, they, when they told me I had a daughter, I told them I hope she's a fool or something like that. Maybe. Oh, I remember that in the beginning. I do remember that. Wait, wait. The beginning? Wow, that was a long time ago. That was when <laughs> Bryce was like, that was 10 pages ago. Okay, no, that was when I, it was like the first time we had like a quarter meeting. Yeah, that was within the first quarter. Yeah, I restarted and 
at the beginning of spring break, I just reread the book. <laughs> really? I, I just kept going because I was thinking it's not going to happen. I read the rest of the book within a day because I thought it was due last Friday. Well, it probably was. Yeah, you're an overachiever. You're Maddie. Maddie? I'm like, I've been watching so much dance moves too. <laughs> I'm talking about Maddie. Bigger? Fitzpatrick. Oh. Yeah. Uh, wait. Tipton? Okay, that Isn't episode. That like Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow is <laughs> not it. <laughs> <laughs> wait. That's a real school, though. Yeah, so I was like, perpetual school. I was like, perpetual school. Or do you want to say, I can cause a shot of you, perpetual school. Or I call it. Immaculate Conception, Our Lady Perpetual Help School. Oh my god, that's like 18 syllables. Help School, Sorrow, same amount of syllables. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Immaculate yeah. conception and nothing else. So yeah, my outside source is um, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. London Tipton is rich. Yeah, yeah but, but, her, is rich. Wait, but in but I feel like London's not like no, no, she is. She's like I'm rich. Yes. Yeah, she goes. I'm so, like, rich. I didn't get to the same school as she does when Maddie's like. Poor. Maddie is Scholarship, poor. maybe? I don't know. <laughs> That's just a pothole. You're like, oh, Maddie's so poor, but then she goes to the same private school as London does. It's because well, London only goes poor. there because she was like, yeah, her father, I don't know, expelled like, from the other schools. And then she had to go there. Because mm-hmm. she's dumb. Because that first she's episode when she went, went there. In the Sweet Life of Deck, when she had to learn Spanish, she like touched <sighs> something. She like knew the word. And then she called her teacher ugly woman. I just watched the clip. Mm. She's like, La Ventana. She's touching the window. Chola. Miss Adams I... is like, what did I... <laughs> what did I unleash? Well, we've been away from school for a month, man. Oh my goodness. How long have we been recording? Okay, the last day I was like, this is our last day, guys. This is our last day. Miss Ivy's like, it's not. And I'm like, it might be. Oh, I remember I would always say, uh, let me say I find out barrels, and they're like, what? So he's like, it couldn't do hags. I know, I'm really upset about the hags thing. Yeah, that's what she's most upset about. <laughs> Actually. Honestly, that's probably what Celine's most upset about. <laughs> the hags. I never got to complete my four years of hags. Celine, I'll make you a big hags. I learned make you a hag so many times too. I've seen so many pictures. You probably did, honestly. Hags with a Z or an TikTok S. Page. Also, Miss Adams, if you're watching, I sent in a photo before you told us to, so I didn't send it to your email yet, <laughs> but I did. I can pull it up if you want. Wait, a photo for what? You know how for leadership she told us to send a photo? Of like anything? It was like either like you and your siblings or like something you're doing during quarantine or something like that. I sent in a picture of me um, Pogo sticking. I sent in a photo of my sister and I and it already got put in because I can see the pages. So I'll just pull it up. Oh, Wait, I should the book right now. Yeah. That's a... Okay, I think we, if we talk for another 10 minutes maybe, I think it'll be good. Yeah, about we'll the book. Like, edit the video. The full quote. I found it. Um, Yasleen, can you put this into iMovie? And... I didn't record everything. I paused once. I hope she'll be a fool. That's the best thing a girl in this world. That's the best thing a, a girl can be in this world. A beautiful little fool. What page? I don't know. I found it online. Okay, then it's obviously not a real quote. Then. Yes, it is. I, I remember reading the same quote. I just this can't find like the page. Near the end. Near the end? Oh, sounds like, like something I've read in the beginning. <laughs> no, it's from the beginning, Celine. Yeah, I, See, I told you. It's like in then the why do you say it was in the end? Chapter. Celine is giving us fake information. She didn't even read the book, like, clearly. 
Yeah, Bryce is the only one that read the book. <laughs> or Nick Carraway. Does his last name mean anything? Like Carraway? Carraway? Carraway. He cares a certain way. And why did Gatsby even change his name from Gatsby to. It was like. It was Gats, wasn't it? Yeah. Or something. And it's like James. J. Gats. Jim. No, and then his real name is James something. So I only refer to him. In but like, why would you change your name if Daisy, I think Daisy remembered him from his old name, but then why did he change it when he went over there, when he got rich from doing drugs? Covering the mic. Could you repeat that, please? Why would he change his name, even though Daisy probably remembers him from his original name, but then he, like, continued living with his fake name at New York. Just trying to fit a new persona. Am I on to something? I think I'm not on to something. Maybe. Maybe. And maybe he would maybe he had to change his name because he was taking drugs, but who knows? Had to reinvent himself. If you don't have that much profile on you, you don't want that dirt on you. It was Jimmy Gats. Which is Jimmy Maybe Gats. because the name Jimmy has greater ties to the Mafia. I don't think it's for the Mafia. Maybe. No. Jimmy sounds poor. It sounds like a poor person's name. Jimmy okay, Gats. I'm not going to lie, you're right. Like, Jay Jimmy. Gatsby sounds much richer than Jimmy Gats. That's true. Yeah, maybe you wanted to fit the rich lifestyle and be like, hey, look at me. Like, if I get rich, I'm changing my name to Celine Sanchez. <laughs> what can I say? Are you trying to say something? <laughs> my neighbor gave me $100 for graduation stuff. Celine my yeah, my my list, list, so... check. <laughs> Oh. Celine, where's my <laughs> stimulus check? <That's> <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's been their days and nights instead of training in their bathing. <laughs> 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 Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Is Ryan doing karate in the basement? Is this karate in the upstairs? <laughs> So it's lying. Bonk. Oh, another Bonk. question. I forgot what it. I forgot it. Someone else want to ask a question about the book? Um, what is the true meaning of his elaborate party? What are they trying to cover? Wasn't well, to try to get Daisy's attention to see, to show her that he has money now. Yes, but what could they, what, I feel like it almost is like trying to cover up this vast emptiness Jay Gatsby feels inside of him, and it's like a bridge between his past self and his current self. Mm -hmm. Parties equals company, so he could distract him, especially with a lot of alcohol. But he doesn't drink. You guys call Ryan like he's Junior, the he's a world. sophomore. I'm about to write. He doesn't more. Right. It says Junior Ryan Sanchez. And why is Ryan's name before my name? It's obviously <laughs> alphabetical order. He's a sophomore. Like, He's a it sophomore. Like, it's alphabetical it's order. R becomes before C. Does it say Senior can... Ryan Sanchez with freshman Celine Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> and younger sister Celine. <laughs> oh, wait. We're talking with the parties and emptiness. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know how he got this reputation of like, oh, every Saturday there's a party at his place. Just want to know like how that started. What is what? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Because mm -hmm. I thought some of the parties were on Sunday, I feel like. I just said Saturday because I know it's on the weekends. The Lord's Day, huh? But like, what? <laughs> I'm trying to make a connection here and it's not happening. 
<laughs> oh, Celine, they already submitted that page, so I can't fix it. <gasps> Why now? <laughs> Celine has left the call. We did it. Who's page is it? It says, I don't know, it said assigned to some girl named Ka Kylie or something. Yeah, that is a two way. I can't read that. Not the background, just the name. Kylie. Um, yeah. This party's pretty big, not gonna lie. Inkled in the pool? Hmm? I would it. only be there for the pool. Mm, there for the clout. Oh, they called. Whoever the did it was dumb. Never mind. Like the hollow cost was complete. No. What? That's what it said in the book. It says the hollow cost was complete when he killed um, Gatsby and then shot himself. They're like, the hollow cost was complete. Now, at first, so I was like, what is the significance of the word holocaust? Because this is before the actual holocaust. Oh, oh my God. But wasn't this oh, so written afterwards? Well, the. Let me look it up. After, that's what I thought too. I'm like, why would they say it? Because it's, there's only been one world war because both Nick and Gatsby were in the war. Well, it was published in 1925. So maybe Holocaust meaning like different type not like specifically that whole event but like well the word itself means complete destruction maybe maybe it's complete destruction Put it in in the, life. the way he was living he was like karma karma's a don't make sense maybe that's what that's maybe that what it is it's like Calm. Complete destruction is his own life. He never got to, he never really went out and tried to find Daisy. He was trying to get Daisy to him. Right. He is always the pursuee and not the pursuer. He's and always. When he went back to Kentucky to go look for her, he was like, oh, she's gone? Let me just get rich so I can. He's just like, he's finagling other people to do his dirty work for him. Yeah. Is this enough content for Mrs. Adams? Maybe. I hope so. Let's have one more thing. I feel like one, I feel like one more thing would be good enough. <laughs> Any Go more on. questions? Bryce, what's your beautiful question? Um, well, I was thinking... It's like his face is that. <laughs> what? Oh. Cute. My beautiful question. Mm. Right, so it's just like the whole theme, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I would think I was I was like gonna write about something related to like how people's like privilege, you know. Well, it's like similar like what you guys said, but like it would be about privilege and something. Yeah. Next question. Going back to the fool question, does it really matter if the or if the daughter was the not a daughter but a boy? Would you, Daisy would have still called him a fool, or is it just because she's a? female and it's just because time. it's a female because she knows that the female could like manipulate men for money probably mm, true Ooh. wiggle her way into that bag daisy's really a crappy character not gonna lie she's me. really she's smarter than people give herself credit for in the book yeah but then she still runs away from like things she did I think an interesting follow-up book would be about, would be the whole thing from Daisy's perspective. Mm. Mm. So it's like, no. 
Let's write it. I just didn't like her because she was like, she's like, I love you, I love you, Gatsby. But then she never looked for him either. She was like, oh, I'm, I'm rich. That's the that's the watch. Um, basically, she's a gold digger. Queen's like, you need to put in the effort. Yeah, because they never put in any effort, and they finally got to it, and then like Gatsby died. That's his own fault. Wait, how old is yeah, Gatsby? Gatsby? Thirty-two. And then Nick's like thirty, also. Yeah, he just turned. Yeah, 30. he's thirty. He turns thirty in the, in the book. That inheritance. I know all that money did Nick not fill the void. Could have been a thing. Nick Could've. who? Nick, Nick and, and Jordan the golf. Yeah, Nicole, I Nicole, thought Nicole. that was gonna be a thing. Didn't he like talk crap about her though when she's like, oh, then she like cheat at that golf? Oh, Did I read that part wrong? I know she lost the golf tournament. I thought yeah. they were talking about her golf tournament. Huh? I don't remember that. Well, obviously you don't pay that attention to details. That was at the details. first party he was invited to, wasn't it? I don't know what. Oh, yeah, like where he got an actual invitation from the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, Gerald. but he didn't actually know who Gatsby was, and it was all awkward, remember? He was like, oh, I'm afraid it would have been a really good, really good host, old sport. That's how the trailer yeah, old sport. <laughs> yeah, that was the Gatsby Oh, my God, I'm going to call you guys old sport. I'm just kidding, I'm not rich. Yeah, you old sport. Gordon and Nick could have been a thing, but I guess not. Yeah, I would not have. And you'll never find another lady like her, and that's how the story ends. Romance and glitter of the jazz age. I think it's enough. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm giving her entertainment. 